And it's, it's not even just religious officials. I mean, it's, it's all aspects. So here, the so-called you know, great white hope of liberal Zionists, Yair Lapid, the former finance minister until a couple months ago, after that uh, wedding that went on this summer that I told you about, he says in the media, if my son came to me and said, Dad, I want you to meet Rona, not Rina, it would bother me greatly. I don't care if it bothers you greatly. Keep your racist opinions to yourself. The state has no business in the bedrooms of the nation. Okay? Now, this is the secular officials. When it's the religious officials, it's like, it ain't no thang, right? It's just it's like all the way. They just go all in. So this um, minister of religious affairs in the Israeli government, he s also spoke out. And again, he reiterates this disgusting uh, comparison that these marriages are a silent holocaust. Um, no shock with Eli Ben Dahan. He's also said about Palestinians that they're beasts, not humans. And he's also said a Jew always has a much higher soul than a goy. Uh, of course, it's only in Hebrew you never hear about this. So uh, I guess you're one of these goys that are supposed to just suffer with the fact that you have a lower soul. Um, but again, the point here is that you make political points off this. Politicians reiterate these ideas because they know it translates into votes. Here in the last election cycle in Israel, here's a typical poster. You see, Rakshas Chazaka, here I'll translate it into English again. Only a strong Shas will prevent miscegenation. A country with soul, vote Shas. You know, this is the kind of messaging I have to see when I walk around the town that I live in.